Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Trails into Reverie. In the last okay. episode, we started Lloyd's route as we got to a point that we could continue, but I chose to swap another route because I kind of want to get everyone into the Reverie Corridor to get some levels. But we are going to be continuing right where we left off. We are on our way to mines to get our boy Randy and fighting new monsters along the way. Perfect reflect. All right, we are going to battle scope here. As you can see, Noel has a lot. So I did equip her with a bunch of good things. So. I am excited to see how well that's going to do because they tend to ignore me and go for Noel, obviously, because of her master course. She does quite a good amount of damage. So does Lloyd, though. Dang, we are freezing through. That'll do it. I know my back's always covered when I'm working with... And we're also getting a lot of you materials. So I did also upgrade Noel's um, equipment and everything in the Reverie Corridor. Stay right there. Got a chance. Right, so let's battle scope this one. Rockbuster. Oh, I know this one. I know this enemy. Seeing them all in 3D is actually pretty cool. Let's go. At zero breaker. Zero breaker. We do a lot of damage because we do have uh, more. Oh, what's it I'm called? Going in. Fire! We do have a uh, more break damage on Lloyd, so he will be doing kind of insane damage. Yeah, no, we're gonna stop that right now. Impede that. You tried. You really did. That's doing almost Let's go. nothing. Drag these two in. One's down. No problem. You are not going to do that, I said. Why are you so obsessed with casting? An opening. There. Oh yes, it is doing that. Crescent mirror. So we can't cast arts, obviously, because it's going to reflect it. ATS reflect. Oh, but the damage you take or the burn is kind of insane. Battle complete. Nice job, all. So I might want to skip fighting the rest. Just wanted to see, wanted you guys to see how we're doing. Oh, wow. We're already here. I'm going to try and dodge the uh, the event where we would need to go. Fire. See Ready if there's to go. anything up here. I'm going to check up here first. Ooh, I see something. Right Here's our shot. New triple advantage. Abyss worm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's no. my turn. I don't like this one. All right, let's uh, raging right hammer. Raging hammer. Why not? It's my turn. This should right. immediately break him. This does insane break damage. Tiger charge. Oh, or not? I thought it would. 
Hang in there. Thanks. Hey, thank you, thank you. We appreciate no it. Mm. Next Let's second. go with this. Movement down that does nothing because it just sits there and earthquakes. No problem. Fire. It's my turn. All right, this should break it. Yes. Okay. No problem. No we are not doing enough damage though. It's my turn. Hey. Now. Now. That is decent damage though. Not insane damage, but decent damage. And we all live for decent damage. Okay, it's gone. Never mind. There we go. Spoke too soon. That'll do it. That gave me nothing. Oh my god. Right, I wonder who would put this. that chest there. Deep Orcher. Oh, prevents KO. Revives. With all HP before KO. One activation per battle. <laughs> Where's Deep Orchard? Here we go. There's a lot more. And we get to revive? Nah, that's insane. That is definitely insane. That is something we definitely want. Right. Let me see. Any chest up here? Yes, there is. In the corner. Food! Food! How I miss that, but I'm leaving? I don't want to fight that. We're only one person, so I'm trying to dodge as much because I feel like over there we're going to have a fight. Red fire. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, Let's heal up. I feel nice and recharged now. I feel we're going to have a story event battle here and uh, open up our part of the Reverie Corridor. Let's see. I'm so scared. All right. It's just us two, so please no fights. I highly doubt they're going to not have a fight here. You can see mines in the distance. Let's hope Randy and the others are still safe and sound. Agreed. We should hurry. Oh! Came from behind us. Enemy sighted. Oh! They're launching their attack now? What is Bannings doing here? How do they slip past our defense? Oh, that's not good. This isn't looking good. We're heavily outnumbered. No idea how you managed to get past our perimeter. But your luck just ran out. We're taking you both in. Surrender quietly, unless you want to be crushed just like that down. They're planning to attack mines? We have to stop them here and now. Right. We won't let them set foot in mines. You fools. What do you hope to accomplish with just the two of you? Capture them! Enemy spotted. Engaging. You can try. All right. Um. Ooh, I like this. Sixty percent damage reduction. Assault guardian. All right. Um. Never mind. Uh. All right. Smart missiles then. Nice. It's my turn. All right, let's drag them all in. You're over <laughs> right there. Now. Now. I was like, oh, we can do the charge. I'm like, wait, we can't. Axle <laughs> guard. Perfect guard. I hate that. Punisher blade. Oh, on Lloyd. Oh, you burned me. 
Damn, that was a little bit delayed. All right, well, time for some more smart missiles. Come on. I could have just hit. Let's go. Break them! Raging hammer! Right, let's get for that break damage. There we go. Right, this hits everybody. It's over. Rising Nova. Oh, I forgot there was one with perfect reflect. I won't let you. I will tank that. Hang in there. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Noel's a champ. I'm going in. Alright, uh you're gone. Why you Well, Null attacks first, so that's no good. Fire. I can trigger that. Right. Mm, let's just normal attack you. Engage. You won't be able let's to do go. much. Unless I miss, you know? Then you'll be able to do much. Oh, but not to Null. I'm going in. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna heal Lloyd with this. Thanks. Might as well. It's my turn. Hey. I'm just gonna normal him. You are not deserving of anything else. Oh, come on. Because I feel like we're gonna have more fights. Because we're only fighting four, and there were like eight there. Not happening. Oh, you are. You are boned, my friend. It's my turn. Oh, we have all our CP basically back. No problem. Yeah. Look at that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. No. The night. If I can stop you, I will. Okay, my chrono drive. Ooh. You can cast chrono drive. Interesting. For right. four turns. Yeah. Oh. What's the matter there, buddy? No oh. An opening. This should be over, right? Yep. This is it. There we go. Not bad at all. Impossible. That'll do it. I know my back's always covered four when I'm minutes. working with you. The numbers game really is catching up. It's too late to back down now. We can't let them get to mines. You're stubborn. I'll give you that much. This has gone long enough. It's time to finish. Ready! Damn it! It's the Red Reaper. Return fire! He's just dodging everything. He's in the zone. It really is. Oh! Get the hell out of here. Mm. <sighs> Ambush failed. Fall back. Yeah, run with the tail with your tail between your legs, cowards. That was a close call. Thanks uh for the assist, Randy. <laughs> I'll say. We really owe you. You're not hurt, are you? Randy? You damn idiots! What were you thinking coming here with just the two of you? Uh, yeah, that wasn't very smart. You saw how many there were? How reckless can you be? It is Lloyd, after all. That's my bad. I didn't mean to make you worry about us. This wasn't exactly a spur-of-the-moment thing. We're on a mission that was carefully planned with the others. Besides, did you really think we wouldn't come when we learned you were here? Mm-hmm. Listen, you 
Okay, you got me there. Guess that makes me a big fat hypocrite, huh? I've probably been worrying you guys sick. So let me just say this, Lloyd, Noel, it's damn good to see your faces. It's good to see you too, man. I'm glad you're good. Same to you, partner. Randy. Randy, are you all right? Is that Muriel? Oh, it's Toa and Bakias. Aren't those two? Hey. Huh. I didn't expect we'd run into people from Thor's here too. I agree. So you've been taking shelter with the CGF. Speaking of which, where are the first lieutenant and commander? Uh. Oh. About that. The thing is. Let's all return to town for now. We could explain the situation there. I'm so glad. Lloyd then followed the instructions Teal left with, left him with him to establish the wire communication. Wire communication. I am so sorry. I am butchering that. They were then able to make contact with their allies on standby at the foot of the mountain path. Let's go. The EDF briefly withdrawing from the tunnel created an opportunity for the two sides to reunite. And so everyone is able to safely reach mines. Yes. <clears throat> That's great. We love to see that. Look at mines. Love to see it. Mines Mining Village. I really wonder where Muriel is. In Der Siegel. Is that her? Muriel, what happened? She sustained several gunshot wounds to the chest and not all of them passed through. She's in critical condition, I'm afraid. No! I know, but you're a super famous doctor. Can't you do something? I have my disposal as a first aid kit. That's not going to be enough here. She needs to be operated on a hospital. It would be too risky to transport her using the route we took here. Right now, all we can do is give her a stopgap treatment to keep her with us. The rest is in the goddess's hands. <laughs> can't believe this is happening. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to be sitting idly with my pride as a doctor. I'll do everything I can. I just want you to understand that this that it isn't much. Try and put your faith in her for now. All right. Thanks, Doc. Completely forgot what voice I gave her. I gave him. Hang in there, Muriel. I won't fail you. We'll do everything we can, too. <sighs> oh, we got quite the squad. No idea she was in such a bad state. Apparently she was covering for civilians during the escape from the city when she was shot. Yeah. That idiot. She's always been one for putting others before herself. As for the commander, Sonia, I think her unit was separated from ours too. They're currently holed up in the Moon Temple. We can't contact them while our communications are being jammed. Oh, <clears throat> that's a name that brings back a lot of memories. So that's what the patrols archaisms we fought in the tunnel were keeping an eye on. Now. Yeah, they sent troops to attack it a few times now, much like they have here. 
The location is even harder to get supplies to than here, too. There's not going to be any communication cables under the temple, for that matter. I don't know how much longer, longer they'll be able to hold out. No doubt. I really don't have much time left. We've had our hands full just keeping the town safe as it is, so we haven't been able to do anything for them. Now that you and the other cops are here, though, we might have a fighting chance. I hate to ask so much of you when you only just got here, but... There's nothing to apologize for. You came here to help out to begin with. Yeah. It doesn't seem like we have a moment to waste. Let's go save them. And make it safe enough for the to get the first Lieutenant Muriel to the hospital. We'll do all we can to help plan the operation. I'll double check our ammunition and supply stores. Thanks, guys. With you in our corner, we got this unlocked. Go gather everyone. We need to get to work on a plan to get through the tunnel and save the main unit. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Run. Taking command like always. Lloyd. Yeah, I know. Randy. All members of police and Crossbill Guardian Force who could attend gather to plot out the upcoming operation. Oh my god. And they've been hoping to do this for quite some time. It didn't take long until a plan came together. With everyone well aware that they had little time to waste, they chose to spring into action that very day. That is for the best. So it was that soon afternoon the operation scheduled to begin in two hours. Lloyd and friends set about making their final preparations in town. Oh. We have to save Muriel, and we have to save Commander Sonia. I feel bad for everyone here. They are stressed too, because they could be attacked. Are your injuries, by the way? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you went in guns blazing. Huh. <laughs> Can't complain. Of what she's going through. You don't know what it meant to me to hear you guys were alright. Something happened to you, too. I don't know what I would have done. It's going to be fine. You just gotta believe. Let's get ourselves ready so we can greet her again with a smile. I'd be worth to flesh out a few details with Toa and Machias beforehand, too. Sure thing. Oh my god. We get Randy. Oh! So when we get new units, is when this shines through. Which one is it? The blue or red? Bl yeah, blue. Green is Rufus, blue is Lloyd, and then red is Reen. I think something just changed. You okay, Lloyd? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Can't say the same about that sense of foreboding I just got, though. I should go look into it later. We should. Ooh, we got quite a bit of people. Oh, so the general store in the chief village is where I need to go. But we're going to swap on out. It's 321. Okay, act four. Let's jump on Reen and see what he's up to. Played through Reen's route. Yes. Let's go. Oh. Oh, oh, we're still in the North this Highlands. Is Arya Shrine, then? Oh, we're at Arya Shrine. Interesting. That's right. We came here during the Civil War two years ago, too. Crimson Rosalia. The 
disturbance in the spirit veins has made it manifest once more. Mm, okay. It's how we were able to swoop in and save the day. Hmm. It does seem like we'll be able to use parallel teleportation to go to Crossbell from here. What? I see. Then we would request your aid, so we can finally bring this madness to an end. Then it shall be given! Sounds like the rest of our number have reached the other shrines. We're good to go at any time. Thinking about it, this will be the first time both Class 7s have come together since Prince Oliver's wedding. Oh. Yeah. Not the most festive of circumstances, but it sounds like we'll be needing all the help we can get. So everybody's gonna converge in Crossville. That's great. Ever since the Supreme Leader made his move, this land has been engulfed in chaos. Mm -hmm. The people of Zemuria aren't going to know peace until he's well and truly deposed. So let's go to Crossbell, where we'll end this once and for all. Right. Oh, wait, Taurus. Shadowing from realms fantastic. Demonstrado to the land of Terra Off we go. <sighs> that previous, the previous day. Oh, okay. Took over half a day for the Republican army to get the situation at their base under control and come to Nord's aid. They claimed to have no idea why their tanks and airships had started acting on their own. They were also clearly finding it hard to believe that all the weapons slated to be destroyed could have just disappeared. Well, your deepest thanks for helping to avoid the worst case scenario here. I'll admit, I never thought the day would come when I would feel gratitude toward the Ashen Chevalier. We're just glad that we were able to prevent a third party from igniting the Flames of war all over again. Third party indeed. Understood. Arena will be here shortly, it seems. I anticipate it will take several days to remove all our weapons from the highlights, but it should prove doable. Until that is complete, our army, sh our army shall not interfere with one another in this region. Is this acceptable to you? Yes. We'll do all we can to make sure discussions between our governments go smoothly too. I certainly hope you succeed. Up he goes. <sighs> I'm glad we can convince them to give us the benefit of the doubt. I clearly suspect their Erebonian involvement, but we can't dismiss the idea that this is really was the United Nations work either. Especially since they know Especially since they must know as well as we do that physically moving that many weapons in such a short time wouldn't be easy. I imagine they are still having trouble believing that His Highness the Prince was adopted too. I'm not surprised. I'm still having a hard time processing what happened and we're directly involved. Yeah, tell me about it. And that Aeon. The sudden appearance of that divine, white divine knight turned the situation in the highlands on its head. In the end, it disappeared before anything could be ascertained about its origin or objectives. In the chaos, the devices in the watchtower and on the giant statue, as well as the robotic arios vanished without a trace. This left us without so much of a single clue to work with. The Courageous 2 and Merkaba were also heavily damaged. Fortunately, there were no injuries among the crews of both ships. That was clearly, but it was clear neither would fly again anytime soon. Furthermore, we still had no idea where the Sonora's seashell was. As a result, we remained unable to use the round of seven. The United Nation also continued to block all communications, preventing us from learning about the situation there. Fortunately, that left us in the dark as to the whereabouts and condition of Alyssa, Machias, and Toa. No, yeah, but we know where they are now, so we should be good. The situation might have calmed, but we still have been truly resolved anything. Your assistance would be a boon to us. Not that I intend to sit on my hands either. 
Are we thinking of a way forward? I'll see that they reach the capital safely. I'll be counting on you to do what you can on your end. Got room for a plus one? I was dreading having to explain my way through the checkpoint. There's still a lot we needed to do in order to quell the chaos. It was clear that sitting idly was not an option. We knew we all needed to come together and plan our next move as soon as possible. Yes, yes we do. That night in the settlement. I love these two. These two are so cute together. You don't all not you don't all need to stare at me like I'm gonna faint any moment. I'm fine now, honestly. Where's I'm fine carry little weight coming from you? Oh, 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 Laura! Yes! It's the waifu! For waifu! I couldn't agree more. We take our eyes off you for just a little while and look what happens. I really think that you're blowing that what happened out of proportion. And we got the best Dodger fee! Please let us join. Let her join. We need her. Don't worry because we care, Reed. I'm genuinely grateful that you saved the lives of my family. I really am. But I want to know what happened to you too. So if you know, please tell us. Seeing your hair and one of your eyes change color like that reminded me of a year ago. Let me think of how you looked when the curse had almost taken you over. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't want to worry you. I swear that there's nothing wrong with me. I can't sense any curse hanging over me now. We're able to confirm from Aaron that the Great Twilight is completely over. So it should be impossible for what happened to Reen to be connected in any way, but... I'd like to believe that too, but what happens seems to be suggesting otherwise. The changes in your appearance are not the only unusual part of what happened either. You're able to summon a Panzer Soldat from far away, were you not? Yeah, how do you even do that? Well, it's one of the new ones from the branch campus hangar, right? Yeah, and the new generation developed by Makarov. They still haven't formally been deployed, but they're stronger than the current generation. That's in use. I thought I said that's for sure. The Tierfing S was specifically developed for Reen and tuned to him, but that alone sh does not explain what happened. <laughs> right. It's not meant to be able to teleport or cut railway gun shells in half. You'd normally only expect that kind of power from Divine Knights. <laughs> I think the whole thing was BS if it wasn't coming from you. Speaking of Knights, what's this one? What's this about show something that looked like one showing up? We're all wondering the same thing. Hopefully, we'll know more when Rosalie and the others finish their investigation. Ah, I see everyone is assembled already. Oh. Hey, there we you go. Did you manage to learn anything? I most certainly did, but it was not easy. All right, give us the rundown. What you learn? I have a question for you, kiddo. Did you feel anything unusual? Other than the changes in your body when you saw that white contraption? Now that you mention it. Yeah. What is it, Instructor? Don't you dare try and keep any more secrets from us. I'm not going to. I'm just having trouble explaining what I felt in words. The second I saw it, all kinds of images and emotions came flooding into my head. All at once. I can't remember what specific images and emotions they were, though. Really? I believe it was some kind of resonance phenomenon. You and the Eighth Divine Knight resonated with one another. Huh? 
Wait, uh, Divine Knight? You're convinced that it truly stands among their numbers then. What do you mean when you say they resonated? Now that you mention it, that thing did seem interested in Reen somehow. It appeared immediately after Reen used that strange power too. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Wait a second. This is making any sense. Yes. You know as well as we do that it can't be a genuine divine knight. Calm down. I know very well what you're saying. I know that there are only supposed to be seven divine knights, and they have all vanished from this dimension. But the mana flowing through it, and the marks it left in the spirit veins leave no room for doubt. Hmm. We can hardly afford to ignore that coming from the altar of the kin of fire. Can't believe what I'm hearing. Fortunately, no clue would cause the resonance to happen. Perhaps it's because you are a former awakener, or perhaps the cause lies elsewhere. But either way, this new divine knight will likely be our biggest clue yet in learning what we are facing. Since its existence, is more of an impossibility than the advanced technology we've seen and the changes in Reen's body. Hmm. So having trouble processing all of this, if I'm honest. I think at least... I think I at least see what we need to be doing. Yeah. Better just do something than sit around worrying about it. We need to find the answers we seek to bring all of this to an end. That is all there is to it. But Grandmother, what brings you to Nord in the first place? We are fortunate that you are here, but I imagine your presence is of no coincidence. Oh, I haven't explained yet, have I? I've been investigating something related to this case for a while now with a couple of help helpers. I'll call them here now. Selene, can you and Zyke come here for a moment? Oh. If you insist. Hey. Selene Milstein. Milstein. Sorry, Milstein. So much for that saucer of milk I was savoring. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be others. Still, I didn't know you were here in Nord. I didn't either. And in human form. Well, only because it's part of my training. I'm not in this form by choice. I would have thought she'd be used to it by now, but it seems not. Nope. I believe this is our first time speaking like this, children of Erebonia. Zait! Zait! Zait. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You must be the SSS's divine wolf. He really can talk, huh? Yes, he can. Thank you again for coming to our aid yesterday. We would have been in real trouble without you. I agree. The SSS told us about you. How you're a holy beast charged with watching over a Septarian the way Roselia was. That was once my duty, but I've since been relieved of it. Still, this continent is my home as much as it is yours. Thus, I have kept vigil over the land since the Great Twilight. Particularly for distortions in the spirit veins. Mm. Um. I was under the impression that those distortions had disappeared after the twilight made its end. They did for a while, but some time ago they returned once more. The reaction we sensed was strong enough to be called a singularity, but we were unable to piece together anything else. We have been combining our efforts to find out more ever since. And yesterday, it finally decided to step into the spotlight for us. In other words, the singularity you're talking about is that divine night. Indeed. We heard to the scene, and even we were shocked by what we saw. Unfortunately, we're not entirely sure where, it's, where it is now. But after your encounter... It appeared to set off, set off in direction of Crossbell. Oh, that is not good. Our rose leads to Crossbell, it seems. Distortion first appeared in Crossbell, too. 
The testimony from the 23rd Armed Division indicated that the banished warships and railway guns were sent there too. This was also where the Supreme Leader first appeared to sow the seeds of a new war. I'm sure Lloyd and the others are doing their best over there, but they shouldn't need to face this alone. Yeah, I'm sure Alyssa, Machias, and Toa would appreciate our help too. If we want to find the truth and bring all of this to an end, then we're going to have to go there ourselves. Count us in too. We can't turn a blind eye to this either. All of our work related to the coup d'etat and the abduction are now finished. Yep, now we can fully dedicate ourselves to this. We should finally be able to gather in one place. Heh, <laughs> guess I can tag along. Thanks everyone. I don't know what I'd do without you. This begs the question of how we're going to get into Crossbell though. True, the Yvonne Defense Force has the whole border fortified. I won't be able to rely on my Merkaba or the Courageous 2 for a while either. But given the current situation, we may have another option. Indeed. With the spirit vein stimulated, we should be able to open the spirit path. I think that is our best option, though. It won't be easy to use that method to travel all the way to Crossbell. Indeed, the veins aren't as active as they were during the Great Twilight. And there are rather a lot of us. But I think it will work if we teleport from different spirit shrines across the land. It'll take some groundwork to pull off, but I can help out with that. Sounds like we have a plan. We really are fortunate to have you all. We'll have preparations on our own to make. How does departing tomorrow afternoon suit everyone? If nothing else, we'll need to make our way through the nearest spirit shrine. Alright, let's go with that. I'll see everyone tomorrow in Crossbell. Oh, oh I am excited! I am so pumped. You guys have no idea. All roads lead to Crossbell. X camp Oh, so we're arriving in the next camp. Okay. So everyone's here. Reen's Act. Zeroth Hour. Oh, so we arrived at her grave. I recognize this place. Yeah. The wetlands southeast of Crossbell City. Where's Fee and Laura? Please. Lake Elm, Southern Wetlands. There they are! This is also where Leanne breathed her last half a year ago. I thought it would be a safe place to arrive, given its distance from the city. I think that was an appropriate decision. Thanks for the help, Celine and Zayt. Ain't nothing of it. Didn't do much. I was happy to help. It's funny how nostalgic it feels to be back here. I haven't even been away for that long. It's Crossbell. Of course you feel that way. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'm sure your family is fine. And we're here to make sure it stays that way. Thanks. Both of you. You're right. I need to believe. Now that we're here, oh my god, everybody reuniting is gonna be insane. I'm surprised you were able to make it, Major. Finding and taking care of all Supreme Leader sympathizers in the army didn't sound like it would be an easy job. Mateus Vander graciously agreed to take over the reins of that task. Oh, they're doomed. Generals Van Dyke, Zex Vander, and Craig are also taking direct roles in the effort. Yep, totally boned. Any sympathizers are doomed. With a domestic situation in capable hands, I thought it best to focus on excising the problem at the root. And on a personal level, I want to know what Rufus is trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. It's regretful that we're still none the wiser on that front. The real Rufus said something about meeting next in Crossbell, didn't he? Yeah. He did. I'm sure we'll be meeting both the real and replica soon enough. Hey, are you sure you're all right, Reen? Yesterday must have put you through it, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, 
I'm not planning on pulling off anything like that again. So no reason for my family to get worked up. Okay. As long as you understand. Zeno and Leo would hate it if something happened to you too. Don't forget that. I know. I don't know how they factor into this, but... Good to know. <laughs> Name dropping them always works wondrous. Oh my god. I don't care what you do, so long as you come back with some good samples for my research. We will. Even the society isn't capable of making those devices or humanoid weapons. Just hurry up and get my materials back. We'll try our best. You must really be frustrated by their absence to have agreed to come with us, Professor. At least we don't need to worry about any tech issues with you around. So what are you all planning on doing next? Heading to Crossbell? If nothing else, I want to further investigate the spirit veins. I think we need to start by getting a solid grasp of the situation here. I agree. Our final goal is to apprehend the Supreme Leader and liberate Crossbell. But we need to proceed with caution. Right. We don't know what's lurking behind him and what the EDF is up to. We just have to play it by ear for now. Especially since we can't use the round of seven. If we screw up, we can't exactly reach out for backup. Mm, that's very true. It really hurts to not be able to communicate freely. Looks like I made the right move coming here after all. Hmm? Was that? Oh. Lecter! Lecter! Hey there. How's it hanging, guys? Sounds like you ran into some kind of hell in Nord. Yeah. How the hell are you always one step ahead, Scarecrow? Don't you even know we're here? Didn't we try to say it was a hunch? He is the one person from who I wouldn't rule that out. Just because we can't communicate with the outside doesn't mean there's no other way to find out what's going on. The guy could, I don't know, steal a transceiver from the EDF, for example. Oh, how cunning. Imagine that proved more difficult than you make it sound. Apart from that, I just know you guys. I figured you'd use that little hack of yours for getting around. Pair that with all the other intel I figured you had, and boom. The fact that I came to Crossbell right, up, right before the ceremony was all instinct, though. Just figured something would happen. <sighs> that intuition of yours truly is sharp. You, who are you to talk about hacks and shit? <laughs> His acumen is impressive indeed. Wait, but if you're in Crossbell this, you've been in Crossbell this whole time. Yep, I got nose to compare, shall we? I would appreciate that. I'm so glad that Alyssa, Machius, and Tor are right. Yeah, and Lloyd and the others, too. Can't say I've seen every one of them with my own eyes, but they're a tough bunch. I'm sure they're all still playing their parts. But it sounds as though the Ebon Defense Force are even more of a, well, force to reckon with after than we feared. Yeah, and I really don't want to come up against those new Zauber soldats. We don't have many sold us of our own, so we want to avoid a head-on conflict. Especially if they have so many of them. Just how long have they been preparing for this? Ain't that the question. Personally, more concerned about where all those weapons that vanished from Nord ended up. We're under the impression that they had been sent to Crossbell. You say that doesn't match up with what you've learned. Sure doesn't. Besides, why would you even hide that much stuff in a small place like Crossbell? That's true. And to camouflage alone can only get you so far. Hmm. You're saying the EDF never brought them up in all your time spying. That does suggest they really aren't here. Well, the only way to be sure is to check for ourselves. Either way, you know where the EDF is positioned now, at least. Only place I've confirmed they have a presence around here are Michelam and a small number of roads. I'll leave it up to you guys how you use the intel I've given you. 
Thanks for sharing with us. It'll be helpful. And our best course is to begin by splitting up into groups and gathering information. Let's start by learning more about the situation in Michelin, St. Ursula, and near the city. A prudent approach. Let's split up into groups then. Green's group will be responsible for investigating the Michelin area. Okay. Select which members will accompany him. You can choose one of Reen's students. Oh, one? Oh, perfect. You can choose one of Reen's students as Yuna is there. Uh, but out of everyone, I mean, we got Fee, so we already got a dodge uh, evasion tank here. So I'm going to go with Muse. Muse is the best caster in my opinion. Uh, no, okay. Uh, I think that's good. Use this formation, yes. Oh, this is our core group here. Powerful core. Laura S. Arsaid. Oh, I love her. My waifu. And Fee Clausel. This is our team then. I've been to Mushlam since the send-off party seven months ago. We all owe a great deal to Juna's father for himself at that time, so I do hope he's in good health. I really hope we can make sure that while we're there. Yeah, I'm sure we can learn something. Try not to stress too much. Yeah. Find out what's going on. Listen, Rain. Hmm? I refuse to allow you to shoulder any more burdens alone. Not while I'm here. I've spent the past half year becoming stronger for your benefit. Rely on me, please. Without protest, without reservation. Of course. I'm sorry for worrying you, Laura. I'll be sure to count on you. Battle or no battle. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Alright, we'll make our way to St. Ursula then. Sounds like the EDF aren't standing guard there, but be careful all the same. If you should find anything, inform us promptly. We'll make our way toward the city. Hope we can find some way to get inside of it. Should we find any elements of resistance, we'll offer our support. We're counting on you. Let's do this thing, people. We shall accompany them part of the way. Yeah, there's a spare vein I want to investigate in that direction. Oh, and speaking of Michelin, there are distortions in the spirit veins over in that region, too. Be careful. We will. Thanks for telling us. I'll be counting on you, too, Celine. I know, I know. If anything happens, I'll be sure to put the kibosh on it. Thanks, and sorry. Really hate to be a source of worry for everyone. If anything... If anything would happen to you is likely to be our biggest clue going forward. You need to apologize. Fear not. We shall keep over... We could... Fear not. We shall keep watch over him. Please do. <sighs> Sucks to be popular, huh? In a way. There's clearly still a lot we have to learn, but... I'm sure we can find some way to out of this if we work together. Let's make for Michelin. Counting on you all. Right. Oh, I am so So it's back excited. to the wetlands, huh? Reminds me of our encounter with the Steel Maiden. We owe her so much. Truly. Yeah. Uh, I know this place is gloomy and all, but you don't need to make it gloomier with your attitudes. You're right. We'd best pick up our spirits and our pace to Michelin. Can I check this? Tombstone. Imagine it was built to honor the late Lance Maiden. Most likely it is the worst work of the Eisenrider. There are flowers too. I wonder if they were left by who I think they were. I'm gonna be surprised. I am saying if we're gonna run into them during this though. Yeah. <sighs> You might not want to be quite so f trusting all of that lot. Anyway, let's get moving. We don't have time to be dawdling here. Yeah, she's right. 
All right. But with that, I think we're going to leave this episode here. And in the next one, we're going to continue forward and possibly reach the cutoff point and start the Reverie Corridor. So, leaving things off here. Hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk okay. me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.